handful of hands um, that went up. Uh, we've been holding the Maker Fair in Singapore for about three years. Um, this is the fourth year that we're doing this, and uh, uh, I'm actually from the Science Center. And the reason why the Science Center has been involved in the Maker Fair is because uh, of two things, actually. Firstly, we feel that the make, it's, it's a very important thing to bring the maker community, the hackers, the DIYers, the crafters, closer to the public. Um, basically, because it opens up people's minds, broadens people's minds. Um, in Singapore, I don't know if you would agree with me, but we feel that people have gotten very consumeristic. They do not make, they tend to just buy things lock stock. So, uh, Make a Fair, in, in, in a sense, is an effort to change that. To, uh, so, um, for the last couple of years, we've actually been taking the fair over to the um, community. So last year, we actually had the fair at one of the community centers in, at Bukit she Panjang, and I think it was very well received by the community. Yeah. And this year, again, it's going to go back to the heartlands, so we're going to be at Tampines this year in an old school. The reason why we're doing this as an old school is because the fair has grown so much that we simply don't have other venues that can accommodate the scale that we're talking about. Um, so, wow. we hope we get Right. Uh, so, so this year we closed the call for makers um, sometime about three weeks ago and we're completely swamped by the number of makers. Uh, so thank you to everybody who has uh, submitted projects, ideas come in in a, in a bigger way than you usually do. Let me see if this is working. See it's shutting down. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so um, I, I was just sort of doing a quick plot of, of uh, this year's Make a Fair. This thing I had a little bit of a pie chart going on there. So we've got about um, 200 project showcases this year, which is almost double what we had last year. Last year we had about 110. So um, and these are just project booths, mind you. And in addition to that, we've got about 50 workshops that we're organizing over the two days. There is actually a website. It's called makeafairsingapore.com. So you can just go over there and take a look. We're still updating it. We are trying to update it as fast as we can so at least people have a month before they can, so that they can sort of decide what they want to do when they come for the fair itself. Um, so the, the distribution is roughly around 32% crafters and the rest distributed between engineering, tech, 3D printing, et cetera, et cetera. And roughly about 18% are totally weird stuff which we can't really put in one place or another. Things like, uh, I don't know if you all know Saad. Uh, Saad has come up with this butt-activated selfie booth. I, I think you, it's supposed to, it's, it's something that takes a photo with the touch of a butt. They've got people who hack bicycles to bake them into lawnmowers and, and weird things like that. So, so as I was saying, about 18% of people are like that and we don't really know where to put them. So I guess you can, you can make a decision when you come to the fair. Um, so I have a bunch of favorites which are kind of nice. Um, in, in terms of pictures. So, um, of course, we've got the big maker spaces in Singapore that are coming in. We've got Hackerspace, SG Luther is trying to help us to curate a bunch of booths from Hackerspace. Um, we've got uh, the One Maker Group, which is over at the National Design Center. Yay. Yay. Okay, this is my second last slide, so. <laughs> Uh, these are the bike guys. Uh, so these are—they're they're actually supposedly bringing 50 bikes that they have hacked to make weird and wacky things. So that'd be kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if you know this guy. He's uh, Takasu. He is a Japanese um, a geek who works for a company called Team Lab, and he is bringing in a group of makers from Japan. It's a, it's a group called Nikotech, and Nikotech is is um, is a group that tries to do technologies that make you smile. Niko apparently means smile in Japanese. Um, I saw their booth when they were at Taipei Maker Fair, which I visited last week, and they had the very quirky exhibit, which um, is, okay, I don't know how many of you know this. You know, if you have the, um, the biscuits, the panda biscuits that kids like to eat, uh, apparently if you shake them really hard and really fast, they become a ball of chocolate. Apparently, <laughs> I do not know. And, and obviously you'll have to shake them really hard and really fast and that's really tiring. So what uh, they had developed was this little electronic device that shakes the thing really hard and really fast 5,000 times. Why? I have no idea, but it's, it's just the kind of thing the Nikotech guys do. So yeah, that's, that's something really interesting. 
and uh, we've got the yarn bombers people this is what they did for us last year so this year i think they're doing something even more cooler so they the, the yarn bombers are people who knit and then they just knit and cover stuff like pillars and benches with things that are knitted um so it's just it's just weird quirky wacky things that that happen and make a fair uh in addition to that what we actually have is we have um forums and these are some pretty uh, so the again owing to the fact that we are the Maker Fair Singapore as opposed to the Singapore Mini Maker Fair, uh, we wanted to actually do something to address the serious people over there who wanted to see the benefits of, of making, other than the fact that making actually makes us happy, which is one of the reasons why most of us do DIY stuff. So um, we're collaborating with IDA. IDA is one of the co-organizers of Maker Fair this year, and uh, we're coming together with um, a forum on the business of making, which would address things like venture capitalists, crowdfunding, um, stuff like that. Then we've got a forum uh, which is on education, um, the importance of making in schools, in students, why is it relevant. Um, and then we've got one on social change. These are some of our speakers. We are finalizing. We'll be putting up synopsis and stuff shortly. Um, as as stuff. Uh, the other thing that we're doing this year, which is kind of special to me especially, is that we're having a book that we're launching, which is focused on families who make together. Um, again, because uh, we feel that there is a very um, special role in making, and, and making is not just important. I, I personally feel that, you know, all the things that is associated with the maker culture, like, you know, the, the advent of entrepreneurship and, and creativity and all that are like fringe benefits. I, I personally see that making is something that we do because it's something that adds value to the soul. And, and because of that, we feel that um, families who work together to make together, we've, we've been working with families a lot for the past couple of years. Um, they, are, um, they, they have something special going on. So we have about 15 families altogether who have contributed to the book. We've done interviews. Shiny and Chinmay are one of the people. Yes, Chinmay. Ah, he's there. All right. Yeah. The, their chapter. I was just editing their chapter before I wrote in here. So, so yeah. So that's something nice to watch out for. So how can you be involved? I, I'm. I'm not. I'm going to stop here in terms of slides. Um, how can you be involved? Many things. We are looking for volunteers. And volunteers would be involved in many things, including taking care of booths, helping out in workshops, facilitating activities. We'll be teaching little kids how to do soldering, for instance, and, and definitely we would need help of people who know their stuff. So yes, so by all means come in as a volunteer. We can still take in booths. So if you're interested, if you have an interesting project that you would like to showcase, get in touch. I'm sure we can do something that can accommodate you. That's about it. There is a URL over there. You can just Google Make a Fair Singapore. You'll find it. And that's it. Yeah. Any questions? Could you go to the previous first few slides? Ah, <laughs> oh, the slides. Okay, no, nothing really. This okay. was the um, this was the, the sort of 200 project show and tells and the 50 workshops and, and the sort of the distribution of makers that, that we've got over here. That's pretty much that. That's that. Yeah. Great. Any questions? Who wants to? Who already has a booth? Oh, there you go, there you go. And uh, you have a booth. Awesome. <laughs> <They have Dude>. <laughs> <laughs> who wants to have a booth? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, who will go down? It's uh, in July, right? It's in July, 11th and 12th. Who will go down to... Come on, I want to see more <laughs> hands up. <laughs> Like if Singapore, you must say it's free. Then everybody. Yeah. Goes, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and if you pre-register, you get a goodie bag. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many reasons to go down. So if you have, a, if you're not doing a booth, go down anytime, right? Yeah, like, go down anytime yeah. and uh, spread the word that this is spread happening, and and I'm sure that it's something that people can benefit from. So do spread. Bring the your word. parents, bring your kids, bring and your, your auntie, uncle, bring your grandparents. <laughs> make it a family thing, or bring your teacher teachers, bring your students. Uh, so I, I remember Kritika once wrote this in, in uh, her Facebook that maker is not a skill set, it's a mindset. Yeah, it's so it's, uh, it doesn't matter if you're curious, just come down and, and be part of the weird things. Any last questions for Kritika? Yeah. So the address there, 15 Tampanese, so that's where the fair is. That's where the fair is. It's um, at a school, it's called the Chow Nan. it used to be called the Chow Nan Primary School. Yeah. Chinmay's Primary School. Chao Chao Nan Primary School. It's uh yeah. Well, we will be we will be sending shuttle buses down both from Tampani's uh, MRT station as well as from Vivo City. So the schedule and all that will be up in, at some point of time. So yeah.
Great. So uh, <laughs> otherwise, go to the website, keep in touch with Kritika. Drop us a line. Uh, you can leave a message on the Facebook page and one of us will get back to you as soon as we can, so it should be okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so right. much, Kritika. Right, thanks. Thank you.